why I'm always teasing you. You hate to have me call you pretty baby. I really thought that I was pleasing you. Oh, you're just a baby to me. It is a rather difficult matter to place on paper the history of our organization. In reality, it has been a gradual and steady growth since April of 1897, when I entered the office of my father, Dr. Leo Weinstein. It's 1916 in Terre Haute, Indiana, a city that has seen its population nearly double to more than 50,000 since the turn of the century. Terre Haute is a busy place. But just last year, the Root Glass Company here in town started making bottles for the Coca-Cola Company. The bottle was designed by a fellow named Alexander Samuelson. Interesting little design. And from what I understand, Coca-Cola is becoming popular not just across the country, but around the world. Hopefully, they're going to need lots of bottles. The Liberty Bell made a stop over in Terre Haute last year as well. The actual Liberty Bell went by train from Philadelphia to San Francisco and stopped here for a whole day. As you can imagine, a growing population needs good care, and we're fortunate to have some good physicians here. Several years ago, I think it was 1892, Dr. Ben Swafford and Dr. Leo Weinstein opened Union Hospital on the north side of the city. Well, almost 20 years later, Dr. Weinstein's son, Joseph H. Weinstein, had also become a physician, but he wanted to change things up a bit. He thought there might be a better way for specialists to work together collectively and make it a little bit easier for patients. Well, the young Dr. Weinstein had heard about a couple of doctors that were already employing a concept that was very similar to his. So he and a friend, Dr. Charles Combs, traveled to Rochester, Minnesota to spend a couple of weeks with Charlie and Will Mayo to see how their association worked. The Mayo brothers had built on their father's reputation as an outstanding physician, and they brought several different surgeons and specialists together to form what they're calling the Mayo Clinic. Now keep in mind that trip to Rochester took place five years ago in 1911. Weinstein and Combs loved that idea and the workings of the Mayo Brothers Clinic. But it wasn't until five years later, late in 1916, they were finally putting all the pieces together. They assembled a team of good doctors and they settled on a name, Associated Physicians and Surgeons Clinic, APNS for short. And they were going to work out of an office at 128 South 6th Street. Very soon after that, of course, World War I came along and practically all of the doctors, except Dr. Jett, went into military service. By the time they all got back, it was 1920 before the clinic could be started as a corporation. Seven physicians, Weinstein, Combs, J.R. Gillum, F.H. Jett, W.G. Crawford, H.J. Pierce and O.O. Alexander incorporated APNS Clinic four years after bringing the concept together, and they were off and running. We put in several thousand dollars worth of equipment, added an up-to-date laboratory, employed an efficient pathologist and technician, and each of us threw ourselves into the work with the idea of making the other fellow successful, because if he were successful, each one would be successful. APNS Clinic grew quickly, and by 1922, everyone knew they were going to have to have larger quarters. They wound up choosing a new site not so far from their old office, directly across the street from Terre Haute's YMCA. The Riley McKean Mansion at 221 South 6th Street. Riley McKean was a banker. In fact, the first McKean National Bank was one of the most respected and trusted in the state. Mr. McKean died in 1913, and his bank was purchased by First National Bank of Terre Haute in 1932. As civic-minded as Riley McKean was, he would have been proud to know that his house was home to the APNS Clinic, serving patients from across the Wabash Valley for more than 35 years. Most of our work at the clinic was referred to us by the doctors in town, and also all around here in the various surrounding counties. Even in the late 20s, the clinic already had quite a good reputation all the way over into Illinois. I would say as far as Charleston and Mattoon. And we had a great many patients from Casey and Marshall. On the Indiana side, we would get patients from Vermilion County, Clay County, Sullivan County, and even from Greene County, as well as Vigo County. 
A few years after moving into the McKean house, the stock market collapse plunged the country into the Great Depression. Times were tough, but APNS Clinic continued to provide outstanding care to its patients. During the Depression and other times, farmers would sometimes come in, especially if they were old patients and well known to the doctor. Well, sometimes the farmers would bring produce in and give it to us, and then we wouldn't charge them as much or maybe nothing at all. But that didn't happen very often, except during the Depression. Now, during the Depression, sometimes, quite often, if somebody wanted to use barter instead of cash, that was all right. We didn't mind getting paid in eggs and chickens, whatever they had. A depression and then a second world war did little to slow the growth of APNS Clinic. And by the time the 50s arrived, nearly two dozen physicians and surgeons were a part of the group. An addition was built that provided 18 exam and treatment rooms. By the late 50s, APNS Clinic had outgrown the McKean House and it was time for new modern facilities. A very old house, uh, no air conditioning when I went there. Um, if it really got too hot, the nurses came around with salt tablets and gave us salt tablets and made us drink water. Um, wow. They eventually put in a few window air conditioners, but I mean, sometimes it was almost unbearable. July 23, 1958, news release. The Associated Physicians and Surgeons Clinic at 221 South 6th Street, Terre Haute, Indiana, this morning signed contracts to construct a masonry and steel clinic building near the site of the present clinic from Poplar North toward Walnut Street. The building will be street and lower level floors of 22,000 square feet each, completely air conditioned and equipped with the most modern facilities for medical services. It was like we were in heaven. I mean, you know, it was, everything was clean. But with the new expanded facilities came the need for more physicians. I wrote letters upon letters upon letters to medical schools trying to recruit doctors. That's how they were recruited them for a long time. Now a respected charter member of the American Association of Medical Clinics, the new building that opened in 1959 along with the addition of new doctors spurred growth with 23 physicians seeing more than 400 patients a day more than 100,000 each year. Along with family medicine, medical specialties included internal medicine, general surgery, ear, eye, nose, and throat, urology, obstetrics, gynecology, pediatrics, dentistry, orthopedics, physical therapy, a pathological and clinical lab, radioisotopes and atomic medicine, x-ray diagnosis, and x-ray therapy. But remember, we're talking the late 50s and early 60s, and there were no computers. Like I say, we did a lot of this by hand. We had an old uh, bookkeeping machine that set up right. I don't suppose you'd ever find one of them again, but we had to put the, my, uh, the uh, inventory in and that, uh, all the visits and so forth. And then we had to type all the statements. In 1961, physicians at APNS Clinic announced the formation of the Wabash Valley Medical Foundation. Dr. William W. Kreibel said the foundation was, quote, established in response to the need for an organization capable of carrying on various activities to improve medical care and medical care facilities in the Terre Haute area. The APNS family continued to expand and family became a key word. Holiday parties were always a highlight. Summer gatherings, many hosted by Dr. Louis Newdorf at his family's lake, made for special memories. The doctors were wonderful to us, yeah. you know, and they really taught you a lot. A half century had passed since the clinic first opened its doors, but Dr. J. H. Weinstein's words still rang true. The qualifications that I personally originally started on were principally ethical, professional ability, and personality with congeniality. I think the latter is absolutely essential to group medicine. You must have your group congenial. APNS Clinic continued to grow in its service to the Wabash Valley, and by the early 70s, another building project was announced. The Associated Physicians and Surgeons Clinic, 221 South 6th Street, Terre Haute, Indiana, has announced a remodeling project with a completion date of fall 1973. The improvements will be aimed at patient comfort and ease. They include a completely paved parking lot and improved traffic flow, a new entrance with canopy, new appointment and reception areas, and a newly renovated pharmacy. 
These alterations will enable the clinic to provide better patient care. The clinic building at 221 South 6th Street would also undergo a major renovation in 1985. By the late 80s, it was apparent more space would be needed, and in 1993, the new APNS Dermatology and Eye Center opened on 5th Street. Soon, there would be APNS clinic affiliated offices on Terre Haute's north side and south side, offering enhanced services in family medicine and neurology. The Bone and Joint Center opened in fall of 2002 offering orthopedic, joint replacement, rheumatology, and sports medicine specialties. In 2006, and in association with Union Hospital, the 28,000 square foot Wabash Valley Surgery Center was completed. Featuring eight state-of-the-art operating rooms and four procedure rooms, it is the premier outpatient surgery center in the area, with nearly 11,000 surgical procedures performed at the center annually. And in 2008, APNS oncology and hematology specialists moved into their new facilities at the Hux Cancer Center. Of course, she had to change with all the changes, you know, and that was hard sometimes. Change has been a key word over the last quarter century. In 1995, APNS Clinic entered into an association with Union Hospital to create an integrated healthcare network. That association with Union Hospital ended in 2004, but in November of 2009, the Wabash Valley's leading medical group once again joined forces with the Wabash Valley's leading medical center and APNS Clinic became Union Associated Physicians. Then, in March of 2013, the new four-story UAP Clinic Medical Office Building opened on the Union Hospital campus. A gleaming four-story, 125,000 square foot facility that became the new home for allergy, asthma and immunology, audiology, cardiology, cardiovascular testing in nuclear medicine, a cosmetic laser center, endocrinology, ear, nose, throat, and allergy, gastroenterology, gynecology, internal medicine, a laboratory, obstetrics, a pharmacy, pulmonology and critical care, radiology, surgery, and urology. And in the lobby of the medical office building, you'll find a physical connection to the old McKean house, a reminder of the past as we look forward to the future. Now, in 2016, UAP Clinic transitions to its new name, Union Medical Group. UAP Clinic and Union Hospital Medical Group have come together and will now be known as Union Medical Group. A new name, but the same outstanding health care that you've come to depend on for you and your family. The century of commitment shown to Terre Haute and the Wabash Valley by the medical professionals and support staff who have been a part of this association is apparent. It started as an idea in 1897, led to a discussion with the famed Mayo Brothers in 1911, became a reality in 1916, and 10 decades later has grown into one of the Midwest's most respected group of medical professionals. Thousands of individuals who have been responsible for the care of five generations of patients from across the Wabash Valley, now numbering a quarter million patient visits every year. With a reminder that every Union Medical Group team member plays a key role. The most important people I had were the front office. The first person that answers that phone is as important as anybody in that daggone office. Your nurse is important and you're important, obviously, but the first person that says, we can get you in this afternoon or don't bother us or we'll see you next year or whatever, that's so important. What started with a group of seven dedicated local physicians in 1916 has grown to more than 100 doctors and nurse practitioners, along with hundreds of nurses, technicians, and vital support personnel who care for patients as part of the Union Medical Group. And they come from across the Wabash Valley, across the United States, and from around the world, earning respect and trust from the patients they serve. Well, I can only speak from what I think personally, and when I had to have my catheterization, cardiac catheterization, Shani Patel is my doctor, and I don't give a damn who's in Indianapolis or anything else. 100 years later, Dr. Joseph H. Weinstein's vision of coordinated health care for patients in the Wabash Valley not only continues, it thrives. APNS Clinic, UAP Clinic, and Union Medical Group, 100 years of caring. Happy birthday. <laughs>